Good morning, friends. I hope y'all are doing okay and had a good weekend and are getting some time to get outside. Um, today, we I've got two lessons for you this week, one for today and then um, one on Thursday. The one on Thursday will be a little shorter. Now, the one for today is a little bit longer, and so we'll be doing some practice problems together. And you will need your notebook, your pencil, your calculator, all of those tools with you. You will not have an assignment for today. Your assignment today is to just watch the lesson, go through all of the parts, take your time and do the practice problems. So you will get an assignment tomorrow, okay? So to get started, I have um, a problem for you thinking about how do we develop our proof writing skills. And so you have an image here and it tells you that Ray EC and ED are tangent to the circle and AB is equal to CD. Find the measure of each of the lettered angles. So pause the video. If you need to draw a sketch, do that and pause the video while you work out the problem. So we're back with our problem now. You should have already worked this out. And so a couple things. First of all, because we know that EC is tangent to the circle, that means it makes a 90 degree angle right here. Because we know that ray ED is tangent, it also makes a 90 degree angle. So now we have this kite right in here. And if we know 54, 90, and 90, then that means that this angle right here is 26. So we know that W is, sorry, 126, 126 degrees. That also means that this arc right here from C to D is 126 degrees. Now we also know that this angle right here from A to the center to B is 126 because these are vertical angles. Um, the center out to A and the center out to B are both radii of the circle, so they are congruent. So if this angle is 126, we can subtract that from 180 and divide by two to get the measures of this angle here formed from A and the measure of angle Y, which is 63 degrees. Sorry, 27 degrees, subtracting, I'm looking at the wrong one, is 27 degrees. And then to find the measure of angle X, we know that this arc is 126. And so the measure of this inscribed angle right here is going to be half of that, and that one is 63 degrees. So today we are still looking at solving problems and justifying our results using circumference and area of a circle. We're going to learn three new parts of circles today. Well, two new parts, one you're a little bit more familiar with. The first part is sector of a circle, and you need to write this down in your notebook for your notes. A sector is the region between two radii and an arc of the circle. So you can see right here the shaded part that shows us the sector of a circle. And the way you find the area for a sector of a circle is you figure out what portion of the circle that is. So like it's telling you the arc length here, A divided by 360 will tell you what fraction of the circle that is. And you multiply that by the area of the whole entire circle. So let's give it a go. So if I know that the radius is five, and I know that A is 30 degrees. I start with the 30 degrees out of 360. So I'm over here and that's 1 12th of my circle. And I'm thinking about ratios and part to whole um, is one way to, to look at this. Um, then if I'm finding the area of the whole circle, my radius is five. And so finding the area of the whole circle is going to be 25 pi. 25 pi. And so you can do, I think that's supposed to be 30 out of 360 over here. So let's fix that. 30 out of 360. So you can just multiply that straight across, or you could do the 25 pi times 112. And either way, you would get 155 pi out of 72. Or if I did 25 pi, divided by 12, I get 6.55. If 
I do 155 pi divided by 72, I get 6.76, and that's probably just a, a difference in my rounding for that. Oh, I think because I did 30. One there, 30 times 25, that would give us 750. So let's fix that. And if you did 750 pi <clears throat> out of 360, you get the same answer, 6.554. So I'm going to get rid of this part right here because that's not reduced correctly. <clears throat> now you already did some work on sector of a circle last week. So here's our first example. Find the area of the shaded sector Again, pause the video so that you have time to draw the picture and work out the problem and unpause when you're finished to check your work. So we know that this central angle is 45 degrees. And so 45 degrees out of 360 is 1 8 of your circle. To find the area of the whole circle, you do 20 squared times pi, which is 400 pi. Notice I'm leaving most of these in terms of pi if I can. It just saves me a little bit of work. Um, so then if I do 1 8 times 400 pi, that gives me 50 pi square centimeters. Don't forget your units on here. <clears throat> The next thing we're going to learn about is segment of a circle. And so a segment is the region between a chord and an arc. So you can see this shaded part right here. So here's my chord, and then here's my arc, and that's the segment. And so when we want to find the area of that, what we would do is we would draw in, you can see it in the second image, but we would draw in the radii connecting the endpoints of that chord. So now we have, we know how to find the area of a sector. So now we've got this whole sector here. And then what we would just need to do is find the area of that triangle that you see right over here and subtract them. So here I've created an example, the, a worked example for us to go through and look at. And so the first part, like I said, you draw in those radii there. And I'm going to tell you in this, we'll pretend that the radius is four centimeters. So to find the area of the sector, we're going to start all the way over here on the left side. So we know that we have 120 degrees out of 360, which is one third of our circle. To find the area of the whole circle, if the radius is four, it's four squared pi, which is 16 pi. One third of that is 16 pi thirds. We're just gonna leave it like that and be okay with that for now. Now to find the area of my triangle, this gets a little bit tricky because I don't have a whole lot of information here. So I, I have the um, length of my radius, which is four. So I redrew my triangle up here and I put my lengths for my triangle at four and four. And I also know that because this arc right here was 120, then that also means that this central angle is 120. And so that's how I know that this whole angle here is 120. So if I'm going to, I need to have a height of my triangle. So if I draw a perpendicular line here, that's my black dotted line that bisects that 120 degree angle. So now I end up with a 60 degrees here, I have 90 here, and then I have 30 degrees for the remaining angle. So now I've got a special right triangle, 30, 60, 90. I remember from my 30, 60, 90 triangle, so I'm just gonna take this little section and I drew it out here. <clears throat> I remember from my 30, 60, 90 triangles that the hypotenuse is equal to two times the shorter leg. The way that I know which leg is the shorter leg is because it is opposite the smallest angle. So two is my shortest leg right here. So it's half of my hypotenuse two, and then my longer leg is two times the square root of three, or whatever that short leg is times the square root of three. So now I have some information I can use to find the triangle area. <clears throat> so base times height divided by two. So I know that my whole entire base is two times the square root of three plus two times the square root of three, which means four times the square root of three. 
Multiply that by your height, which is two, then divide by two. You end up with four times the square root of three square centimeters for the area of your triangle. Now, to find the area of just that segment, remember we gotta take that triangle area away. So I'm starting with my area of my <clears throat> sector, which was 16 pi thirds. I'm gonna subtract from that four times the square root of three. I just rounded both of those, so it was six, approximately 16 and 76 hundredths minus 6 and 93 hundredths, so I got about 9 and 83 hundredths. And remember, these are approximations right here because I'm rounding on this last part, and again, that's square centimeters. So here's our second example. I would like for you to find the area of the shaded segment. Again, pause the video so that you can do a sketch and get all of your work down. When you're ready, unpause to check your work with the solution. So for this problem, we're going to start with the sector. And because this is 90 degrees, that's kind of easy. That's one fourth of my circle. So the area of my whole circle is six squared pi or 36 pi. So I've got that here. And then one fourth of that will give me nine pi. So that's the area of that whole circle. And then the area of my triangle, I don't have to do any fancy work on this one because it's base times height. So one half of the base is six times the height six. So that gives me half of 36 or 18 square centimeters. And so I just write this as nine pi minus 18. Notice I put parentheses around that because the whole thing is square centimeters. Or you could write 28.26 minus 18, which is approximately 10.26 square centimeters. On the practice you're gonna do tomorrow, I think if not all, most of your questions ask you to leave your answers in terms of pi. The third thing we're gonna learn about is called an annulus. An annulus is the region between two concentric circles. Remember for circles to be concentric, that means that they have to have the same center. So they're not um, kind of lopsided or um, they, they line up perfectly on that center. So the annulus is this shaded part around here. And when you have um, two concentric circles, it will show you like the lower R, lowercase r is the shorter radius or the radius of the smaller circle. And the uppercase R, that is the radius of the large circle. So it, it goes all the way into the center, even though it looks like it's just on that shaded part, it goes all the way to the center. And all you do for this is you just find the area of the large circle and subtract from it the area of the small circle, and that will give you the area of the annulus. So I um, did a problem here where I added some numbers in, and so our lowercase r, or our radius for our small circle is two, our radius for our large circle is six. So if you find the area of the large circle first, you get 36 pi. The area of the small circle, is four pi and subtract them and you just get 32 pi um, units squared. For this example, I would like for you to find, um, you're going to be finding X, which is this angle measure. So it tells you that the shaded area is 14 pi square centimeters and the radius is six. And you need to find the measure of this central angle right here. Pause the video so that you can get a sketch and show all of your work. And unpause when you're ready to check your work. So finding the area of the whole circle, the radius is six. So the area is 36 pi. And thinking about, I wanna know 14 pi out of 36 pi. I'm wondering what that is. And so you could put set up a proportion part to whole where you do 14 pi over 36 pi and x over 360 degrees and you get 140. You could also figure out what 14 over 36 is as a fraction or a decimal and multiply that by 360. 
So if you did 14 divided by 36, it's 0.38 repeating the eight repeats. So then you would multiply that by 360. You would need to leave that whole decimal in your calculator and then multiply that by 360 and it would give you 140. So now try this example. Uh, this is telling you that the area of the sector is 16 pi. And so what that means is that it's this shaded part is 16 pi. This part right here, square centimeters. And we want to know the measure of angle FAN. So pause the video so you can get a sketch and show all your work. And unpause when you're ready to check your work. So the first thing you'll do is find the area of the circle, which is 144 pi. And this one I did a little differently than the one previous to this. Um, so I took 16 pi and divided by 144 pi. And reducing that, I knew that figured out that that was going to be one ninth of my circle. My whole circle is 360 degrees. So one ninth times 360 would give me 40 degrees. So the measure of angle FAN is 40 degrees. And here's our last problem we're going to try for today. So this is asking for the area, it's asking for the area of the annulus here. And the radius of the large circle is 8, the radius of the small circle is 2. Pause the video and do a sketch if you need to and show your work. Unpause when you're ready to check. So you're finding the area of the shaded region. So the large circle is 64 pi, the small circle is 4 pi, and when you subtract them you get 60 pi. So that concludes our lesson for today. Um, again, because this was a little bit longer of a lesson, I'm not giving you practice today. I will give you practice for tomorrow. Now, remember, we do have um, a geometry um, Zoom chat on Tuesday morning from 930 to 10. So if you have any questions about anything in this lesson, please come to that time. I can answer emails, but I, um, I can have um, kind of my version of a doc cam set up. So if you come to the chat time, then I can show you problems and it's much easier to show that way than to try to type in answers or type in um, solutions or strategies via email or through uh, Google Classroom. So again, that's Tuesday from 9.30 to 10. Uh, we'll have another video chat Thursday from 1 to 1.30. But if you have questions on this lesson particularly, you should really try to come Tuesday. Okay, I hope everybody's doing well. I miss seeing you all and um, be safe and be well.